Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh Heron. Thanks for watching the Moto America YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. So here we go. It's Junior Cup race time and the lights go out. Clutches are gone. We go to turn number one, Avery Dreyer shooting across the front of the field and he's gonna lead us into turn number one up and over the hill we go Rossi Moore up the inside on the 34 will slot into second place yeah you really can look about three rows deep into this field that are, are where is where our winner is gonna come from there is a little bit of drafting as you can see here as they're already starting to get into a line as they break hard for turn three on this opening lap one of the main passing points and Rossi Moore goes through on the inside as they go down through three to four and then down this big steep hill you really don't have a clue how steep this is until you walk to the very bottom of this but Rossi Moore heads to the front so Rossi Moore on that KTM that's a Ferium NGRT gray area racing RC 390 the 2018 model last time they were talking about some transmission issues they've got a new engine in that bike and sorted through that as the 34 the 15 year old Rossi Moore we will be 16 by the time we hit our final race of the season at New Jersey. So in his last couple events as a 15-year-old, Rossi Moore leading us. And that was a first lap. great aerial view of the S's here from turns 7 through turns 10. A lot of transitioning back and forth through there. And you saw we have about four riders trying to break away early. As you see DeMario there uh, up front and Hayden Bickneys, who's also a front row starter. Those four guys are starting to get away as we come down into this crucial chicane. A chicane that has been a little bit altered from last year. So let's see how these guys all get through it. It's a little bit slower chicane. They're going to jump over that paint on the inside of the right. And then it's a, very, it's a little bit sharper left, Greg, than it was last year and you can see fifth and sixth have now started to make that close up and that's going to be max van and i believe was it medina maybe behind him i'm not sure as they come onto the front straightaway rossi moore is going to lead us across the stripe giving us the opportunity to welcome the third member of a broadcast team hannah lopa in the mix Obviously, Max Van was very quick through the chicane the last lap through. Then he drew up onto the back and he brought 39 and Medina with him. So now let's hope that those two guys can get locked in, get on the back of those four again as Dreyer now takes to the front. You see DeMario slides himself into second. So we have a double pass up at the front. That's going to put Rossi Moore just back there in, in third now. And Bickneys has just been sitting there on the 69 watching all this happen right in front of him. Can never count him out. He's back there in seventh at the moment. You have to kind of wonder about Yandel Medina out of Bronx, New York, and how quickly he caught this group. Can Kenny make some moves? Doesn't look like he's able to even put himself in the draft. Talking about the 39 as Moore goes up the inside. He'll take some spots, and he leads for the moment. What a race. Yeah, let's see how the draft works here as you see Rossi move all the way over to the left. So I like this move here. He's going to make them go down the outside of him. He'll generally, he'll, he'll gradually rather get himself back to where he needs to be. But that's a pretty solid move there from Rossi. A lot of racecraft showing there, Greg, because uh, he didn't want to let anybody draft by it down the inside and, and run the risk of getting passed on the inside. Coming across the stripe, Jason, 57-4 for Rossi Moore, who loses the lead to the 99 of Avery Dreyer. And Moore trying to fight back immediately. Is he gonna have enough coming down the hill? He puts himself to the inside there, and it's gonna put him in a good spot when they get into this breaking zone into turn three. I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything with him as the 34 does take that lead back. And this is the kind of racing we like to see, the championship leaders up at the front, battling on each other a little bit here. And, uh, you know, the good thing is, is that we've still got that six rider pack at the front. And, uh, you know, when I see what's going on with Max right now, just losing a little time with some of the drives up these hills and things, that could be something as simple as gearing. The smallest little things make such a big difference on these small bikes, Greg. And it's it could be something very simple as that that could be hurting Max Van right now because he just continues to lose just a little bit on them through this section. With Four and a half, five and a half laps to go. And look how good he is through the chicane. He's able to draw back up on him now. Endel Medina is another guy that we have seen awful racy uh, in the past and, and trying to get himself into those podium spots. He's caught the back of this group. Hasn't really made a big move to get to the front of it yet. As you see P6 here, he's got a nice lead right now over Levy Batty does Max Van. So he's at the back of that, that spot. As you can see, Demario now takes that spot away from Dreyer and, and moves himself into second. 
There's not a lot of straightaways here at Pit Race, so there's not a lot of drafting and passing, but there's a lot of drafting. But here's some moves, Jay. Nope. Medina, though, this is what we've seen. He's just methodically picked his way forward, hasn't he, Greg? And it's like he's moved himself up into second spot now. He hasn't really had anybody come back onto him either. So now we're going to see what Medina's plan is as we go to three laps to go. Coming onto the front straightaway, a good drive for the 39, and he's going to just blast right past the 34. Does the 70 of Demario have something? So just like that, we talked about it. Well, I'll tell you what. Rossi Moore looks so good into turn number one. He's so good taking tight lines. Yep. Yep. He's and got now, that one, but Medina to the front. But now you've also got Demario who's trying to draft Rossi Moore and get down the inside as they come into turn three. But Rossi Moore is able to make that pass again, so he's showing how strong he is on the brakes. That's going to allow Demario to move up into second. And uh, look, at, look at the drive that that killed for Medina. There's about two and a half laps to go in the Junior Cup. Race number one, Max Van still back there just holding on. But here's the thing about Max Van, never count him out because we've seen Max Van back there in sixth place be so strong as the race wears on and start to pick up speed compared to his competitors. Oh, a little bit of motion from our race leader, number 70, Demario, taps the tail section. Jason. I love it. Nobody's listening to that, unfortunately. They're just, it's just full gas all the time. And uh, you can see here, Demario and more just crept away a little bit in that last turn. So Dreyer's going to have his head down to try to get back up uh, with them as Rossi Moore takes the lead back over the stripe as they go uh, two laps to go now. So the tapping of the, the tail section lasted for, what, one corner? Yeah, these guys all know what Rossi Moore is doing, though. They know now. I mean, he's done enough laps where he's tried to be as protective Whoa! as he can. He gets a little bit outside there, a little bit wide. He's going to bunch them all back up. Now the draft for Bigney sh should be good as they head down towards this chicane. You see he moves himself into third. Rossi Moore tight again as they go into the chicane. This is a great view so that we can see what each one of these riders are doing here. And you can see Yenda Medina over the curbing there on the right, trying to, trying to over, the, over that right side curbing, but he lost a little bit of time. Max Van just in tow, going the same speed. So here we go, Jason. It's all go time now. We're going to be heading to the white flag. This is the final lap, race number one for Junior Cup. Crossing the line is Rossi Moore to Mario. Dreyer on the 99. Are they going to mix this up? The nice tight line by the 34 more. Bickney's, Medina, and Max Van still there in sixth place. Not making any inroads, though, on the pack in front of him. Yeah, and so they've just conceded the fact that Rossi Moore is going to get down into this turn ahead of him. As you can see, Dreyer now gets himself up into second. That's going to kind of ruin DeMario's plan if he's got any plan to do something with Rossi Moore as they get down into the S section. But it's going to be interesting to see what Avery Dreyer does now as he takes to that second place spot. He'll be able to hopefully draft onto the back of that KTM, possibly. That's what he's hoping for anyways. But Rossi does a really good job again. He's making these riders go into places on the track that they maybe normally wouldn't be. He's going to lead them into the S's now, Greg. So will anybody be able to do anything with the KTM? I really feel like the next real spot for them is going to be going into the chicane. It's going to be the draft out of 14 and the run down of the chicane, where I think that the next planned pass is going to have to happen for Dreyer. Little left side movement on the rear tire for Rossi Moore. The only place that's really going to affect him again is coming out of the front straightaway. Dreyer, the 99, looking for some place to make it happen. The bad boys racing. Kawasaki Ninja 400 pilot, your championship leader. Trying to take more points away from the rest of the field, but Rossi Moore trying to grab another victory here in Junior Cup. Through the chicane they go for the final time today. Perfect. He actually cleaned that. Look at it move over to the right. He's just thwarting the efforts of anybody else to try to go back down the inside of him. He's done a really great job of that, Greg. Now, can he hold on to the line? That's the big deal. Behind the bubble he comes, left-hand corner. Is it going to be a draft and pass maneuver? Here we go onto the front straightaway. Dreyer has got a good run at it. As the checkered flag waves, it looks like the 99 is going to get Rossi Moore by 36 thousandths of a second over Demario who's 99 thousands of a wow. second back in third. Another three tests back is Bickney's Medina. Max Van Eli Block in seventh. Chapin Levy Batty in ninth and Jaden Fernandez. Over Rossi Moore, DeMario Bickney's
Medina Vanderbrock. Let's get right down to Hannah, who has a very happy 99.